What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take the pedals apart on the bug so that we can start getting those cleaned up and painted so that we can put them back together and put them back in the bug. And then we also are going to take that engine out um, and hopefully get it put back in. Called in some reinforcements today so I'm going to have my dad out here. He's going to help me um, get the engine out and get it put back in so that we can make sure that it's mating up with the transmission properly um, so that we can try to get this thing moving under its own power. Um, so let's get started. We're going to start on those pedals and then after that my dad should be here and we're going to get the motor pulled out and put back in. So let's get to work. Oh, okay, so here are our pedals. So we're going to pull this thing apart. You can see everything nice and nice and crusty. Um, so I definitely want to get it cleaned up before I put it back in the bug. Um, this spring's nasty. I mean, everything's just bad. So we're going to pull this thing apart. We're going to clean it up. Or when we put it back together, it'll be nice. I did get this in the mail as well. Got a new pedal assembly. New, new foot pedal pin. Uh, little roller here. So I will help with that. And we'll need to get some new pads as well. Um, thought about buying just a full replacement, but everything I read online says that you can't really beat... Um, these so we are gonna we're gonna roll with them it's best to rebuild these than buy a whole new one from what i've read so let's see if we can get this thing taken apart all right so we got some hammers we got a punch here we're gonna need that to punch up there's a pin right here i've never had a pair of these apart before so we will learn together uh, let me go grab some pv blaster Let's sew this pin down here. Let's so call that little, little pin here. The end of that pin, I don't know if you can tell, it looks like it's kind of burred up a little bit on the outsides. So I don't know if it's going to go through the way I'm hitting it or not. I guess we can try to put it back through the other way. Alright. That just set me up a little area out here that could get better. Hammering down here. We're gonna use this little blowtorch thing to see if we can heat that pin up so that we can get it out. Alright, let's head back to the workbench. 
All right, back on the workbench here. All right, so we got this off. Didn't even try to. And that sucker came off. That's what goes right here. Have to figure out kind of what holds that on there because I feel like it just popped right out. Don't see any pin or anything in there, so have to look that up. But anyway, so we got that off and that off. All right, now we should be able to pull this off, which ought to be a lot of fun. Get our clutch pedal off. Okay. All right, so now, see to get this off, that just pulls out. So that's our clutch pin right here. Everything actually doesn't look bad. The clutch pin doesn't look bad. I've seen some videos where this is like basically stretched and pulled back. Um, that one still looks good, so I think we should be able to reuse this with no issues. All right, next up, got to get the brake pedal off. So we're going to need to pull off the little snap ring. Let's see if I can get closer. All right, right there, you can see the little snap ring. So we're going to try to get that off. I have a snap ring remover, but my little things that go on the end busted on them. So I'm going to see if I can get that off with some screwdrivers. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Came right off. Oh. Alright. Oh. Yeah, snap ring is off. Right there. Sorry, it's hard to get this thing centered there. Put it over here. Alright, let's see if we can get this pedal off. Now, how does that come out of there? Ah, just like that. Just gonna work that back and forth, just like that. And there we go. All right. Got our brake pedal off. Here's our spring. Okay, you can see how that looks in there. It looks pretty good. Pretty smooth. Definitely needs to be greased. We're gonna sand these things down and we're gonna repaint them anyway. And then here's where our, where our brake pedal mounts to. So let's try to get this off here. Worst case scenario, we'll cut that sucker off. Um, I'm probably gonna take it back outside where I have all the other stuff and see if I can't hammer that sucker out real quick. All right, we got the pin out. It, I heated it, got it halfway out, and then I just Busted off the end with the, I used the cutoff wheel and then I just busted it off. This is pins in horrible shape. And our new pedal set comes with a pin. There's really no reason to keep that. Also comes with a new pin that holds the pedal on too. I didn't realize that. So that's good. All right, so next thing we'll do is we'll clean all this stuff up so that we can put it all back together and have it looking nice. So, All right, everyone, so here's the parts cleaner. We got the parts already in here. Um, I'll drop a video link down below for the parts cleaner um, assembly and put together video that I did. This is just like the Central Machinery uh, parts cleaner that you can get at Harbor Freight. This one came from Tractor Supply and it's called a Job Smart. I don't think they carry it anymore, uh, but like I said, it's the same thing that you can get at Harbor Freight. So we're gonna use this for the first time today. Um, get these parts cleaned up, let them dry, and then we can get them painted and put back together and put back on the bug. So let's get started.
right, so we're going to let these dry, these parts dry, and we're going to go pull this engine out. Hopefully we can get back to these pedals on um, this video. If not, it'll be the next one because um, we are going to paint these things um, before we assemble it back together. So hopefully we'll have time. If we don't, we'll do it on the next one. So, all right, let's go see if we can get this engine out and get it put back in. All right, so everything looks good here. Throw out bearing, looks fine. It should be it should be pushing the pressure plate, no issues. Um, over here, everything looked looks good as well. So we're thinking that maybe our sponge just were off just enough to keep it from from releasing. So we'll put it back in and see what happens. All right, let me grab a... Is that how you was trying to do it? Was with your hand? Yes. Oh, well, good night. I thought I would be able to. No. No, not at all. All right, let me put this on there. Just a minute. All right. All right, clutch it. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm an idiot, Dad. <laughs> you just want to pull the motor again? No, I didn't. I just needed to clutch it. <laughs> I didn't know you was trying to pull that machine. All right. Hey, you want to tell them what was wrong? Well, you know, these youngins nowadays, 
the clutch he tried to pull with his hand because he didn't have the clutch pedal moved up. So short version is he had to put something on there where he could get some leverage. And once he did that, works fine. So what did we do? We just we just pulled the engine just for fun, right? R and R, yeah. Okay, all right, that sounds good. All right. Let's boat her up. <laughs> All right, so as you saw, we got the motor pulled out. Everything looked fine on it. Uh, put it back in, and I thought we had the same problem, but then my dad realized that I was not pulling the clutch back all the way. Uh, I did not have something with enough leverage to engage the clutch. So I didn't have my pedal, so I was trying to do it by hand. Once I put something on there with some good leverage, I was able to engage the clutch, and everything worked the way it was supposed to work. So basically, we pulled it out for no reason, but at least we got some good... Uh, some dad-son bonding time. I appreciate my dad coming out and helping me. Um, any chance I can to spend time with him, I love to do that. So since that's done, we're gonna paint these pedals. Um, and then All right, everyone, so that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Also, drop your comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and just let me know if there's anything that I can do better. Share my channel if you know of anybody that might like this content as well. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great week. God bless. We'll see you next time.